Edifier came out with classy looking bookshelf speakers. These are the S1000W and they look so good. I can barely control myself and they sound even better. But they of course have all the new tech. They have all, all the new tech. It's crazy. You can use them over Wi-Fi, over Bluetooth, Apple AirPlay, Amazon Alexa, Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect. Of course, aside from all the other inputs that you just saw, coaxial in, line in, optical in, and they deliver true high fidelity sound. They are even high res audio certified. It's no joke, they, are, they have a certificate for that. They feature titanium dome tweeters and 5.5 aluminum bass speakers. Powered by high efficiency class D digital amplifiers and they are of course DSP managed and there is also a companion app. So yeah, classy look, bleeding edge tech. Got the new drip from Edifier. These are the S1000W Wi-Fi bookshelf speakers. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So that's the box. As you can see, it's quite big. That is my biggest Edifier unboxing yet as of now. 18.4 kilograms. And also this side, other than that, nothing interesting on this box. Color is brown. So let's get to it. Go figure. I honestly didn't expect a box in a box for this one. Box in a box, proper protection. Love to see that as always. So yeah, we have this side, this side, this side with all the specs. Again, this side, bottom is blank and we have the top right here. So on top we have all the accessories and also the manual right here. Oh, that's convenient. So I will put all of that to the side. Then we have the first layer of protection and here we already have it. One and two. Oh yes, that's actually the back side. Wow, beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Wow. Now look at that. Yes. Oh boy. But first of all, let's get through all of that. So there we go. Neatly organized actually. Here we go. We'll get the paperwork, the remote with batteries and all sorts of cables. So first of all, we have the cable that goes in between the speakers that connects the master to the slave or the slave to the master actually. Then here we have the power cable. That's the connector. Then we will get a chinch to chinch audio cable. We will also get this small jack to chinch and we will also get an optical cable. Here we have the batteries for the remote. Let's remove that. Nice looking remote. That's the back. Triple A batteries, of course. This is a neat remote. Yeah, and when you press it, you can see the indicator doing the job and we have this. And also the manual front and back with all the socials. And it's of course multi-language one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh yeah, that's actually it. All right on. Done with the unboxing. Now let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The design the case, the shape, even the remote. It just looks amazing. We even have a mesh protector in the front. You can take those off, but I will leave them on. And the speaker membranes look absolutely flawless. They look so nice. And we also get tons and tons of connectivity. And also, of course, an app. But before we get to it, let's take a close look. Okay, so right here we have the main unit with the high res audio cert. And down here, we have the receiver for the remote branding on the mesh cover. And the cover also has a really cool design and shape to it. Mid and bass speaker and the tweeter on top. Talking about the top, this is it. It's a cool mix between fillets and chamfers. Wooden sidewalls looking beautiful. And we have this black shape basically spanning all across the box and down at the back. The second unit basically looks the same except there is no receiver on the bottom. That's the bottom of the main unit. And even the feet look 
supreme for a nice rubber feet good damping super stable and lastly the back side of course ported design they can play lower frequencies thanks to this design looking awesome and the left speaker has of course a connector for the cable and on the main unit here we have the left speaker out and aside from that of course the power button plug-in power right here and then right here we have three dials we have a digital volume knob there is no end stop and we have a treble from here to here and also a base dial right here info about the wi-fi chinch connection then we have the line ins optical coax and that's pretty much it lovely speakers Good stuff, now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. And actually, I have it right here. <laughs> Active 2.0, so that means left and right, no subwoofer, Wi-Fi speakers that also work with Amazon Alexa. As I said, it's compatible with Apple AirPlay, Spotify, Pandora, and also the Tidal service. We have an all wooden enclosure to minimize acoustic resonance, so it's a very stiff housing. One inch titanium dome tweeters, 5.5 inch aluminum mid-base drivers on the bottom. By the way, the build is a base reflex. It has the hole on the back for the lower frequencies to get out quite heavy. That's a good thing for boxes like this. They need to be heavy so that they are, you know, don't vibrate, like don't shake around and that this will mudden up the sound. But yeah, these are heavy, good stuff. We have digital audio processing technology on board based on DSP for precise control. That also means you can control it via the app, do all sorts of crazy things. They feature a Class D amplifier with 120 watt RMS total output power, Bluetooth version 5.0, that means low latency and a stable connection. And other than that, we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, optical in, coaxial in, line inputs. We have two line inputs, left and right line in one and another line in two, left and right. And there is also a remote control included for easy operation. The power output for the treble units is 25 watts and 25 watts. And for the mid range and for the bass, we have 35 and 35 watts. And the frequency response curve is 45 hertz all the way up to 40 kilohertz. For lower frequencies than that, a subwoofer would of course be recommended and thankfully Edifier has fitting ones. I love Edifier. <laughs> all right, so yeah, not bad, right? And now let's put them to the test. So first of all, let's power it up and let's turn it on. Next up, let's of course get the app. Edifier has three apps. We need the Edifier Home app. I already have it, of course. Give it all the permissions. And right off the bat, it discovered the S1000W. Let's connect. Connecting to Wi-Fi. I can also already connect them. Oh, this is a super long cable, perfect. Simple as that. The Wi-Fi password is incorrect. Please try again. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> all right, there we go. There is, there is new firmware av available, so Ah, it's, all right. Upgrading firmware. Ah, yeah. Okay. Let's wait for the upgrade to finish. Nice. We also can see the signal strength in percent. Firmware upgrade complete. All right. That was rather fast. Nice. So, and there we have it in the app. We can switch the input from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth to line in to optical coax. But let's use Bluetooth. And in the settings, we can check the signal strength, the user manual. We can also connect it to Amazon Alexa and we can also rename the speaker. I already did that, but actually let's do this. Beautiful. And now I will grab my second phone, connect to it over Bluetooth. Easy as that. Perfect. Ah, and we can see the volume. Also changing in the app. Not bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's check the EQ. Just a short first test. Ah, you can see it down here, what's playing, that's nice. And when we switch the input to Wi-Fi, oh yeah, then it will stop the video or the song on the phone. And when we go back, and with the remote, check this Bluetooth. 
And we can also use the play pause button, of course. S dope. So I have planned something special for this test. So check this out. I have this amazing <laughs> piano right here. And my first idea was to set up the boxes right here, but that's not going to work sadly. So I will bring this over and give it a test. So check this out. Fancy setup for fancy speakers. You have no idea how gut-wrenching it is to listen to a high-end acoustic piano simulation on a freaking party speaker. It's just soul destroying. So we have the Bluetooth connection going so let's switch to line in to line one and now check this out so beautiful it is so beautiful And they're not even facing to me and it's still sounding so nice. <laughs> so nice, oh my god. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> okay, let me experience the sound for myself now. Obviously, this is not ideal. They need to... I need risers, but it should be... Oh, yeah. But that should do for a first test. <sighs> Now I only need to learn how to play, but it sounds so nice. Oh, the level of details, the clarity, it is amazing. Bluetooth sound test, let's go. Both speakers, obviously. Okay, tweeter. Bass. Both of them. And the bass port. Okay, let's ramp up the bass to the max. Yeah, that's way better. Definitely needed. The room is not optimized whatsoever, but it, there is just sounding so great. It <laughs> doesn't even matter. They look amazing, they sound amazing, I love these speakers. Great remote, edifier, knocking it out of the park with these speakers, absolutely amazing. These will be my new studio monitors and I, I love the sound, it's perfect. This 
speakers are so amazing in every regard. They look great. They sound great. You can use them for pretty much everything. They are so versatile. Watching TV, listening to music, using them for your PC, using them as studio monitors, or like in my case, amazing sounding speakers for a piano, everything. You can use them for everything. And the best thing, in my opinion, for what you will get, these are actually affordable. Edifier, as always, delivering across the board. These are definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell, and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day, and I will see you soon.